I became particularly connected with the environmental justice movement when I realized that it was not just polar bears that were at risk, but that it was human beings. We are living in a cruel culture, and we must have faith if we are to continue the battle for a healthier one. The climate crisis affects all major social justice issues. We believe this is the moral and spiritual issue of our time. Inequality. Injustice. High pollution. Calamity. Changes of the EPA. When we first awaken to the environmental crisis, it is or can be overwhelming and terrifying. We've got a large responsibility. Do not be afraid, because God is on our side, and God is calling us to action. God has created this balance. As Muslims, we believe that we are the stewards of the planet. To take care of it is our responsibility, because it's God's favor on us. It's a name of God. In the beginning of Genesis, we're told that we are created in God's image. We need to look at all the people in the world and see them as if they are created in God's image as well. It's important to take care of this earth because it's the only one we've been given. Today is a critical time for the interfaith community to speak out and do what needs to be done. And we can do that. We can model that in our communities. Interfaith Power and Life spearheaded a job summit to look at ways to create jobs in the green industry that will allow low-income communities to have access to these jobs. Good paying jobs that can help our environment. Opportunity. Education. Community. Renewable energy. Protection of our environment. Something positive for the world. Please get in touch with California Interfaith Power and Light and live and thrive.